Welcome back to the Murray Carnival, and we are getting close to the elimination rounds. Juro Sen and Ray Nagas in for this action. This is Women's Rugby League now. It's the Southeast Queensland Magic up against the Bayside Sisters. And uh, I watched the Magic Ray yesterday, and they were definitely Magic. They're going to kick off against the Bayside Sisters, obviously from the Bayside area around in uh, Queensland. And the Southeast Queensland Magic are a combination of, of the local uh, South East Queensland quarter but they are also got some uh, Northern New South Wales influence so uh, we'll get comments from Ray Nagus in a second as we are about to get underway soon we'll have the round of 16 but we are still playing in the pool games at this point South East Queensland Magic to get us underway, they're running left to right down towards the Bayside Sisters and here come the Sisters now bringing it up towards the halfway line. They're only 10 metres short of the line, and they have, I guess, a rebuilding phase. I was talking to their coach, Tim Knight, about it, and, oh, they get the ball away. This is clever play already, 10 metres from the halfway line. Just trying to work out their play and momentum early here. I'd say that the... Uh, SEQ Magic will be the favourites for the game, uh, given what I've seen so far. And it's been quality rugby league here as uh, the play, as Green got the way, ball away. She, she got the ball away, but her the ball play was absolutely crushed in that tackle. But getting up there, Duffersey in pretty good condition. And, uh, Ray, you've already seen a couple of big hits already. Yeah. Uh, number 25 here for Bayside. She's already had three hit-ups, so... She's doing some quality work there early. Uh, but, yeah, that was a big hit there by the number eight for uh, SEQ. Yeah, absolutely, and the possession's changed. But uh, Williams is the um, number 24 for uh, Bayside Sisters, so look out for her. Uh, she'll be uh, dominant. And, uh, you know, it's and I looked at the team list, they've probably got more players on the South East Queensland Magic side as we see them get... More meter each. They're looking good with the football. They're a very drill, uh, well drilled and precise team this side. And they only came together on Monday, so that's a great effort. And that's one of the challenges, Ray, of the Murray Carnival coming together quickly and performing together. Yeah, look, you have your structured sides that have been playing together for a couple of years, and then you have your sides that have been thrown together um, in recent times. But um, yeah, I can certainly see that the SEQ side oh. is very structured. As and here we... they go away. Just jumping in with Connors, Savannah Connors, the number seven for South East Queensland Magic. The play continues. They go left. They must score here, and they score on the left-hand side, and that is Samantha Cobo. Cobo. She is powerful, had a good game or two yesterday, and has backed it up with a try this morning. Yeah, SEQ Magic just straight through the middle there, uh, the halfback slicing through. Got a nice quick play, the ball. Uh, and as you said there, Giro, must score stuff here on the left. Lock jumps out, gives a nice ball onto the number 16 there, and she scores the first try here for the No Shame to Educate Let's Yarn. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see that uh, getting her hands on the ball early there, Samantha Cobbo. She is a dominant big runner, and on the edges of the ruck, you'll still be dangerous, and even on that left edge. So watch for her to perform, but yeah, good try to start with. And, you know, keep your eye on it. It's pretty hard to miss her, but Savannah Connor's the number seven, the halfback. She, she's absolutely dynamite and hard to tackle. Yeah, I was just about to say, she was playing some great eyes up football there. So absolutely have to keep your eyes on Savannah Connor's, the uh, halfback there for the Magic. All right, wind uh, comes in and out uh, during the day, and so it's wise to have a jacket here at Redcliffe. I know it's September, but you should have one. Here's a conversion attempt, not a bad one. Oh, she's got it! Wow, nice. Magnificent effort given the wind here. It is sort of at her back, but that doesn't make it any easier. Wow. And, the, and those goals count as you try and qualify for the elimination rounds of the Murray Carnival. Yeah, and, and this uh, last couple of days we've seen it's hard to go up in sixes at the carnival here because it's just been so windy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. How did Eddie handle the wind before? <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about sitting on the fence and all sorts of stuff there before <laughs> he was. Rick's have it. we get all our paperwork here. We're trying to run around and get the team names. It's, it's quite an effort. You've got to go find the teams and double-check them uh, because the, the jersey numbers actually don't, when they get printed, they don't really match everyone's physique. So it's understandable that people have to change their jersey. So uh, it takes a while. You've got to get around and find out how they say their names and what names are applicable to numbers. <laughs> yeah, so our apologies if we do 
they're called the wrong names out there, but we, we, we do our best to try to get it. There's a lot of pen work right. that goes on these sheets, I can tell you. Yeah. All right, it's about it to get us underway is Corporal with uh, the Bayside Sisters, the restart, and here they come. They look dangerous and full of running already from the restart. And what about that great run there by Kelvin? Number 18 there for Magic. Here they come back to the open side and looking to get through, but can't find her way there. Terry Jo Dunn, was it? No, no, 19? no, no Peter, 21. Oh, 21, Peter in 21. Oh, look at that top again. ball, beautiful. Oh, oh she stripped. One-on-one -on -one strip. So Peter did a great job there, and, but she got found out and the ball was turned over. Yeah, got her pocket picked there. <laughs> she, sh she did shake that ball. There's no doubt about that. That's good defence too. She slammed to the deck. They're just over the halfway line, the Bayside Sisters. They really need to sort of consolidate here and make sure that the Magic don't run away with it. But that was good work. Good defence and the fact that they were able to steal the ball uh, legitimately was great work. Here they come, open side. Here's the 25 again. She's impressed me already. That's her fourth hit up there in their second set of six. So 25 came in and uh, we didn't uh, get that number. So that's what, <laughs> that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, so my apologies. I'm, I'm calling number 25 all the time, only because we don't have a name. Oh, so the ball's knocked forward. We have a scrum to go down. It's... Uh, 30 metres out from the Magic's line, but they'll have the ball. And it looks like uh, feeding the scrum will be um, Jada. Tafe. And uh, she's considered the 5'8th in this team. And she's feeding the scrum on this occasion. And she'll mix it up with, as mostly it happens in footy, with Savannah Connors. Look for Connors to get the ball early here. And uh, here she goes. Ball in two hands. Oh, yeah. take it high. Yeah. yeah, that was a bit high, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, it certainly was. And it can get tricky when you have the sort of shorter, smaller players too. So mm. you just got to go in there with a little bit more better technique. Absolutely. Technique's everything in rugby league. And it's, uh, it's just uh, it's so important. It's, it's improved out of sight in the women's game as it becomes more professional. We've got a bit Ooh, of a knock there a in knock. that collision. Referees called... Timeout, but there's no timeout. It <laughs> keeps rolling in these games. I saw young uh, Cohen there, the number 12. She was limping around pretty badly, and I just noticed that she's gone off, which is unfortunate for her. Not too sure if she kind of got some contact there, maybe a cork, maybe. But that's unfortunate for her. She's off early. Yeah, the two sisters there, the. Uh Naniki and Yolika Cohen. And uh, there's a mother-daughter combination too in the Bayside Sisters. And that's uh, Marita Coolwell. Coolwell, famous Queensland name. Shout out to my brother Wayne Coolwell, actually. And uh, Nagiri Green, Green, who's the uh, number one for the Bayside Sisters. So these are always family affairs, and it's great to see. Yeah, I saw uh, Paulie Coolwell walking around here before, old PC. <laughs> uh, any locals around Brisbane certainly know, know PC. Well, I used to work with Wayne Coolwell the ABC. We call him Cool Cat. He's great. Here they come. Oh, nice run from Dummy Hart. Ball in two hands. They won't stop her. That's the and lock again. Just absolutely walks through there. Right. And that is Lenise Wright with the try. Yeah, great work there from the lock. Um, out of dummy half that one I can see they're having a bit of a look up there in the replay sized it up had a look at the numbers they went the short side through the dummy they had a three on two there originally and she's thrown the dummy and gone herself and uh, stood the full back up and crashed over and that brings us to ten points to nil yeah as you can see there on the Nurigili uh, replay it was uh, pretty easy too easy in fact and uh, I think uh, you know it's going to be really hard for the Bayside sisters. As I said, they've got a team, as speaking to their coach, Tim Knight, they're in a really rebuilding phase. They started as a junior women's team a few years ago, and, you know, that's what it's all about, sort of building for the future. That's what, what, what you want to see at the uh, carnival. They'll be better for this experience too. Yeah, it is. The more carnivals they go to, they'll get more experience and they'll, they'll gather interest from other players that might not be playing right now as the kick is unsuccessful there so we remain SEQ Magic are in front 10-0 
Yeah, so the Magic, uh, as expected, uh, the, so the breeze is across the field, but sort of in the faces of the Magic, and it makes it really awkward. So you will, but when it's strong, if you're running into it, you can get that ball to hold up forever, and then it's a nightmare to defend against. And as, a, as an old fullback, it's it's really <laughs> frightening to have to do that when you've got 10 people rushing at you. Yeah, and that's the worst part about it. The ball's holding, and all you want it to do is drop so, mm. so you can catch the, catch the ball and get going, but you can't. Juro Sen, Ray Nagus here at uh, the Murray Carnival. It's one of the uh, last games before we start the round of 16. Yeah, did anybody take your eye in the men's games? Did you do many men's games yesterday? Yeah, I did. You know, and I, I did some great players. I thought um, uh, Law was a, was a great player. So I really enjoyed watching the old boys, which you just had before, uh, from Mergen. They were, they were great. Did you enjoy that with the old boys? Yeah, look, I've been watching Boy Boy Hoppy play yeah, in carnivals for many, many years. So, you know, I, I call him the general. Too. What was the average guy? No, I mean, what was the average age of that team? It must have been pretty old. Oh, yeah, it would have been up there. It definitely would have but been But you up know there. what? I love it. I love the old fellas playing. It's just awesome. Their experience is, you just can't, you can't beat it. No, and he showed um, showed that in the second half that it was evenly matched at half time, And he came in. Some strong, defense up. Here. Yeah, yeah. some strong defence here from the... And it's forced a turnover as well. So there you go, the ball's been lost and we'll have a scrum. So, yeah, good defence. That's it's disappointing there for um, Bayside Sisters because uh, getting possession and, and, and uh, moving forward is quite uh, challenging against this quality side. So unfortunately they were, um, weren't able to um, take advantage of it. So the scrum will be fed. You know, I was just saying, disappointing to lose that, considering how hard it is to play against a team like this. Yeah, it's the one percent stuff. And you see a little break. Hold here. on, Ray. Here we go. The action down the left hand side. It looks like the uh, South East Queensland Magic are going to score again. They won't chase her. The break down the left. And it looks like uh, Donovan, the number four. Yeah, she's got the football and scores a try. I'll tell you what, she had some wheels too. Once she got that ball and she started digging them in, there was definitely no catching her. Yeah, she was away. And this all started from a set move from the scrum. Ball in two hands and Ray take it away. Yeah, as you see there, a bit of a juggle there, but just starts to uh, accelerate and get into her work. They chased hard there, but, you know... Just too good, Donovan. I didn't even bother looking over the shoulder. She knew she was clear and even decelerates to put the ball down. Well done to young Donovan. Yeah, thoroughly deserved the try. And that they um, they know what they're doing from set piece. Uh, and as I said, I was, when I was talking to Leanne Wright, their coach, uh, and they've only had a few days together, they just understand the game. They've played, if you look at this team, like groups of players that play together, then come together. So you've got pods of players, like you would with a rep team. You're looking for maybe the spine. That, and she got the conversion, by the way, so they go further ahead. But um, that's, uh, that's the important thing. They can bring those groups of players that have played together and then form a, a bigger group that builds combinations quickly. Yeah, and I think some of the girls here play, you know, club football throughout the year as well. Yeah. And then you have ones that just want to come and, and uh, play with their family and their friends uh, come carnival time. So it's more of a, a you know, social once a year event thing for them. Yeah, and as I spoke about it before with uh, the Geary Green and the mum, Marita Coolwell in action for the Bayside Sisters, the, the family element at the carnival is amazing. And even if you haven't seen family members for a long time, I bet you can find them here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was saying during the call yesterday, I bumped into some people as I was coming through the gate. I hadn't seen them for over 10 years, you know, so mm. that was fantastic. Are they trying to avoid you? <laughs> <laughs> they probably were waiting for me to, to get them in. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. This is a restart. Oh, well taken high. That was a challenging one oh. there, but uh, it was brilliantly taken by Jada there. She's a very good okay. talent, but... Uh, in the end, all that work was undone. Yeah, we see a rare mistake there by the Magic. Um, yeah, I really hope Bayside just put on a decent set of six here just to give them some confidence. And, um, yeah, we'll see what they got. All right, so they've got a huge opportunity here. Let's see if they do take advantage. Green to feed the scrum for Bayside Sisters. They need to stem the flow here. and Let's see if they can do it. Uh, back of the scrum, they... 
move it to the right. Oh, the defence is there. Two players front on crash, but the referee says that we'll get a penalty and it's too high. Yeah, a little bit too much, a little bit too much aggression there. Green, get us underway again. There's a tap restart. There's the 25. 25. She yeah. runs straight through. Takes three of them to take her down. 15 metres out for the line, left of the post. They go right again. There's Green, gets it away. Can't get through there to uh, guard side. So they have to build some pressure here and a bit of momentum. Green shows, then passes. Oh, intercept oh, here. Oh, Connors. Half a chance, but they were onto a fast just as well. Yeah, that could have turned out to, to be anything there. So they need to make sure they defend strongly here to try and keep and build some pressure on the Magic. They, they can do it, but it takes a bit of determination. Out from dummy half. They've got numbers out of the right here, but they don't go and use them. Yeah, that was a great tackle in there. Great technique there. Scoops it up with one hand at dummy half. They've got numbers to the right. Goes straight through. They won't be able to chase her here, will they? Green has a go, but they can't get her. And right goes all the way to underneath the black dot. Yeah, so there's another try there to right. Uh, Lanice Wright, she's certainly doing... Lots of things right here today, and that's, uh, that's a double for her. So she set up the first try, and then she's got a double now. Let's have a look with ball in two hands. Look at that going to the line, and you really have to shut her down far earlier than that. Switches it to the right arm, and away she goes. Yeah, away she goes, and again, out of dummy half, right, scoots out. Probably didn't expect to score a try from that far out, uh, but the oppor opportunity presented itself. And uh, away she went. Like I said at the start of the conversation in this uh, broadcast of this game, uh, I thought they were seriously impressive yesterday. Uh, this gives them an opportunity to probably try a few things too because I expect them to go on to have a, a big win here. And, you know, my, my hope is that um, that uh, the Bayside sisters take a lot away from here. But they, they, they had their, they've had a couple of chances down the other end and, uh, and they, they tried their hand on the right-hand side but didn't quite pay off. Yeah, I think sometimes when sides are playing well, it gives uh, the bench players an opportunity to come on and get a little bit of extra time, uh, which might be happening here today. But you are you are 100 correct there. The uh, Bayside sisters they are trying hard. Savannah Connors, superstar for the team this week, no doubt about it. As this number seven's off and are, and she comes in to convert. There it is. She kicked it in the next week. Yeah, <laughs> and that's without the wind assist. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, she she got she got onto that one. That's for sure. It's good to get those and get familiar with it on these grounds. And they'll be playing on the main field for the finals uh, tomorrow. But it's really important just to get all those things down. You know, to get get in the groove of goal kicking and, and that sort of stuff for the conditions. And, and the wind should be lesser even in the in the field because of the grandstand. But it'll still be around, won't it, right? Yeah, it'll still be around. Um, and the players are just adjusting to all the wind that we've had here for the last two days. And I was saying there before, um, short, sharp, crisp passes seem to be the way to go. Not too many long balls been thrown over the last couple of days. No, you've got to be clever about that as well uh, and not uh, spill the ball. But uh, we're on the gad to get us underway. And uh, she's limping after that kick too, so I hope she's okay. All right, now they're under pressure, running strongly from the back there was Kelvin. Away she goes, but she's taken in a good tackle. Great scrambling defence there. They're under pressure already, Bayside Sisters. They decide to go to the left-hand side, so it's a bit of a settler. They try to spread right. They do come. There's Connors. She gets it away. Green to come in to make the tackle. She's been busy in attack and defence for the Bayside sisters. They come right. Oh, there she is. There Green she is in again. again. Geary Green doing the great job there. For her mum. <laughs> in the team as well. Here they come right hand side. Big opportunity here. Huge gap. They must score in the corner. And she'll bring it around right underneath the post. Tanisha Trihorn scores a try and another one for South East Queensland Magic. Yeah, nice uh, silky skills again. Uh, just straight up the middle with um, three nice forwards, uh, three nice runs by the forwards, and they just simply let the ball go wide. As we watch the replay here, 
after Green just did a double tackle there. Nice pass off here. Went to the defensive line. Let the ball go. Almost an intercept there. And the fullback just didn't have enough wheels. Or the 5'8 there, sorry. Couldn't quite get across. Brought it around to make it a little bit easier for the kicker. Blustery conditions out of here today. Credit to Bayside Sisters. They really chased her all the way, but uh, couldn't get Trihorn under control. She, uh, she once you got into that space, it was a nice... Uh, and there's a risk that those beautiful balls, you could lose them in an intercept, could you? But it was pretty well executed. Yeah, it was... Uh, what's her it was uh, Rhonda Gad. She she went for the intercept there and yeah, only, only millimetres off it, but yeah. Conversion is successful. So, Connors adds the extras, and they go further ahead. 28 points what's to the nil. Me- what's the message at halftime from the coach for Bayside? Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Uh, and, and I think talking to Tim, he's a really nice fella, and you know he, he knows he's rebuilding the team. And I just think... Girls just keep backing up and, and defending. I think some of the, I think the basics of the defence are pretty sound. It's just they're up against a really hard running team that gets they get a lot of space going, and so if they don't shut them down early, it's really difficult, isn't it? I mean, what would you say, Ray? Oh, look, I'd be saying a similar thing. Um, you can clearly see that the Magic sides, you know, are very structured and been playing footy for a while. All right, here's the restart. That's a long one. That's taken nicely with the wind at their backs. The uh, Bayside Sisters, that ball's a bit loose. The referee says a knock on. So here's a chance. Mm, yeah. What, what, what you, what's your recommendation for an attack plan here for Bayside Sisters? Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, they have tried some things. Um, they've resulted in you know a bit of a bobble or a bit of a knock on. So they really haven't had that much possession compared to the Magic side, so... That's right. Well, break off the back of the scrum. It was a good run there. Looks like that was... Um, Ginger Delaney, number 16. Uh, now to Green. Green goes to the line. She's been so busy. Doing a lot of work for a team. Bayside Sisters now. Is your number 25. Here she, yeah, goes. she goes. Oh, steam rolling there and oh, goes. oh, over she goes. Well deserved, well deserved. What a great try. I was just about to say there before, the 25 has provided them some great go forward. And that's an awesome run. Absolutely. Look at her go. Ball in one hand, she said, I'm going to steam roll through. Yeah. And she held the ball of security. Referee was right on the spot. Yeah, Johnny on the spot. In there. fact, if he didn't get out of the way, he was going to get steamrolled <laughs> as well. <laughs> but right. uh, that was a uh, Gilly uh, replay. It was fantastic. Yeah, apologies to the number 25. We are sorry. We don't have your name on the team. Yeah, sheet. I went through the team list and they were really good about it, but it was 120, yeah. 25 just wasn't on there. So, um, and we understand that switches happen um, yeah. and, and changes. But um, yeah, great run. That's so good. It's very pleasing to see. Yeah, like I was saying before, you know, if the Bayside sisters um, had a little bit more even possession, uh, it, this ball game could be evened out a little bit more. And with a little bit more possession, they are through, and they are the, fo- the score now. Sorry, is twenty-eight to six in favour of the Magic. And I think off the kickoff here, we don't want any coach killing stuff happening here in terms of just getting through to your kick after scoring a try hopefully they can do that as the wind really 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 picks up here again at Redcliffe the uh, magic side not in a hurry to restart things here but fantastic work there from Bayside Sisters Alrighty, kick off here to that try scorer number 25. She runs the ball up strongly again. As we've got Green going into dummy half. She has been busy, Green. Well done, Ray. I've just been uh, sorting my team out here. <laughs> we've got a runner <laughs> to find out who number 25 is to help us out with the call. Yeah. I think she needs that respect of uh, damaging the opposition the way she does. She needs a, uh, uh, you know, to have a name called. 
So, yeah, absolutely. Well, I was really pleased. Like, that's the the damaging, the hard runners damage, as you see, unfortunately, a change over there. So, uh, Williams, uh, she's a bit disappointed with that, number 24. And uh, that's that's probably what they didn't need. Yeah, I was just saying that before about the, it's a coach killer. After you score yep. a try and you can't get to your kick straight after scoring. Um, yeah, they just need to get to a kick there, Bayside. Yep, they certainly do. So we've got the 13 here. Uh, Lenise Wright. All right. Yeah. Yep, now it goes to Trihorn again, and she gets the ball away to Austin. Austin steps on the inside. They can't grab it. There's five or six on them. They eventually bring her down. Only a couple of metres short of the line, still with a big smile on her face. Austin plays the ball. It comes back to open side. The bell's gone in the background. Hit and spin. Chose close to the line, and the referee says it's held up, and that'll be half time. So a bit of excitement there uh, for the SEQ Magic. And uh, Ray Nagus, how would you sum up that first half? 28 points to six, uh, South East Queensland Magic leading over Bayside Sisters. Oh, look, obviously uh, SEQ Magic with uh, more possession there, so that shows on the scoreboard. They're up 28 points to six. Um, nice, very nice structured side. Uh, the, the girls seem to know their roles. Um, as they're rolling through their sets of six there. Uh, Connor's there. She's a great little halfback, uh, Connor's. Great little organiser. Strong little defender as well. Um, and their forward pack just uh, rolled through the middle there of, of Bayside. Um, and, and for the Bayside team, you know, hit back there just before half time. Uh, didn't have as much possession as the Magic did in the first half. And, um, yeah, number 25, we do have a name now, Louise Hunter. Hunter. Yeah, so thanks, Donnie, for getting that for me. Uh, Louise Hunter is in the jersey, number 25. She had an absolute damaging run through the middle, and uh, she held the ball in one hand but palmed off everyone else and almost got the referee as well. She was fantastic. They need more of that in the second half, Ray, and uh, we'll be back with that action in a moment. But so far, we've got a pretty impressive lead. It's Southeast Queensland Magic leading by 28 points to six over the Bayside Sisters. We'll be back in a moment on the Queensland Murray Carnival 20. 23. Australia, we've never been more excited because whenever you see the big red hand at Coles, it means you're getting great value, hands down. Like over 500 down, down prices across the store, down and staying down for three months. Get $10 off your shop when you redeem 2,000 flybys points. <laughs> and we click and collect straight to your booth. If you're down for more value, Australia, there's great value hands down at Coles. As the sun set over the tranquil bay, the pergola was glad to have the jetty to hold. That's deliciously Morton. When you're ready for anything, everything changes. So when they say the real world is uncertain, be ready to create, collaborate, to think like a human, and uncertainty becomes exciting. Be ready. Ready for the real world. All mob who get an annual health check at their participating Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community-controlled health service receive a deadly choice of shirt. Not an easy choice. Yes, it is. Think a Heinz today, G. So make a choice. Make a deadly choice. Every Queenslander has the right to good health. And we at Health and Wellbeing Queensland are working really closely with our partners to change things up a bit. Events like the Queensland Murray Carnival are vital when it comes to showing just how important sport is. Not only is it good for your health, but it can help you feel connected to this with healthy eating and you get the perfect team. So remember to stay active and eat well and together we can make healthy happen. Did you know? Vaping exposes you to the same chemicals as smoking durries and even contains unknown substances. So make a deadly choice and stay off the vapes. I'm Mitchell Heritage. I'm a Cookie Lunge and Grumpel man from the Daintree Rainforest in Stradbroke Island up in Queensland. I started in a branch. I was a school-based training teller there for two years. I think CBA's probably got one of the better Indigenous communities in terms of activity as well as engagement. The way that we deal with Indigenous Australians and bring them into the workforce, give them exposure um, and not make it feel tokenistic, I think is best in class. Hello and welcome. 
welcome back to the second half of this game at the Queensland Murray Carnival. Juro Send Ray Nagus it is the South East Queensland Magic up against the Bayside Sisters. South East Queensland uh, leading by 28 points to 6. So, Ray, uh, you saw the huddle there for the uh, Bayside Sisters. They're up against it. What do they say? Yeah, the coach there just said, look, they've got a pretty pretty uh, decent sized forward pack. Let's try to move them around a little bit um, and hopefully tire them out and then we can. Uh, you know, get some inside balls, come back through the middle and see if it pays dividends for them. Yeah, that's great information. Thanks very much. It's good to hear from the inner sanctum there because uh, it is difficult to work out uh, what strategies they'll employ. Uh, we can make all the suggestions up there we hear we want, but in the end they're playing the game, aren't they, and they have to make the decisions. Yeah, and he also asked the girls if they could be a little bit more aggressive there through mm. the middle, which yep. is... Um, well, that's what Louise Hunter brings to them. Yeah. Number 25, doesn't he? About to get underway, and uh, we get the ball boy off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the ball crew, uh, they, they've been loving it, these kids here. It's a job for everyone here at the Murray Carnival, from ball boys to serving food to medical, everything. Second half to get underway. And it's the uh, Bayside Sisters to get us underway. Short kick, awkward catch, but Connors gets it. She's got all the skills. She did run away behind one of her own players, but there was no real obstruction there. So, but Connors safe as houses. She plays the ball a little bit gingerly, but she's okay. And that uh, is uh, Donovan. I don't know what the siren is in the background, but we're underway. It's uh, Magic with the football, and that's Elizabeth Kelly, the number one. She's almost on the halfway line. They're just on the left-hand side of centre. And they go back to the open side. Oh, good strong run there. Takes a few with her, but uh, a great effort there in the end by Cohen the Nikki. Yeah, and that's one of those big forwards that the coach was talking about from the base side that needs to be stopped. And it's on again over the side there. Kelly gets taken in the tackle. Fifth and last. The breeze is strong from right to left as the uh, magic run and that's where they're going to kick right to left awkward one to take it bounces and goes towards the try line but over it goes once the wind gets hold of it it goes goes and goes Ray and it's gone going <laughs> going and gone 28-6 yeah so the Bayside sisters here really 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 important they get through this set of six here yeah it builds a bit of momentum let's see if we can get some you know, get a bit of run up going and, and not go backwards like they did on that occasion. But yeah, she just ran into it there, gut side, and got uh, creamed. Yeah, she's had a, a few nice carries in the first half Oof. there. That That's green, green again. again. She's been there. so busy. There's not much to green, but she's absolutely a, a, a soldier for them out there. And there goes Hunter. Another strong carry. She's played great for the Bayside Sisters today. Yeah, she um, looks like she was a late starter for on this game. And it's great to see she's on the paddock. But here's a nice run over the left-hand side. Can't quite get through. Great attempt. They go left again, short side. Here's a wobbly old kick, and it's taken easily. And they're over the halfway line. Still strong pumping good. her legs. Yeah, good strong contact there by the halfback for Bayside. That was uh, Bradley Reed in the 14. Here they go through the middle. Great run, Austin. Austin has taken in a good tackle eventually. Takes two to put it down. They got a roll on here, the Magic. Here's Connors. Inside ball. Beautiful ball oh, into a big defense. runner there. And that was Peter. Peter again keeps the ball alive. They have to turn around, look up, but she gets close to the line, defending with their lives here. Now they get... In the dummy half, dummy half run. Will she get over? She tries to. Oh, she hits and spins. The referee says it is a try. No. Yes. Yes, it is. That was some really, really good contact. But well done, the hit and spin there by uh, Reed, And she gets herself a try. Let's have a look at uh, Nirigili replay. And uh, there's there she is there, Reed. And it all closed on the left, but Ray, she found that spot on the right. Yeah, just a little bit too many defenders on the left-hand side there. And once she uh, did the hit and spin, there was nobody left on the right-hand side. So in the end, once Reed took that initial contact, there wasn't too many defenders left. And uh, she just 
literally fell over the line there. But great work there by Reed, and well done to the Bayside sisters uh, to try to hold that try out, but not to be. Yeah, there's a lot of desperation there. I've always been a big proponent of uh, the hit and spin. If you can develop that uh, close to the line, you're pretty much unstoppable uh, because it, it, it somehow it just turns the defence into mush. It's incredible how it works. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know, Yeah, just one of those things. But nobody intentionally, I don't think, means to do the bump and spin. But once you get hit there, like uh, Hunter really put a great shot on her there and there was probably only one way for her to go because Hunter just really came in from that uh, right-hand side. No conversion, so the score remains 32 points to 6. And uh, that's a little bit of deflation there for Bayside Sisters. And uh, I think, you know, the, the, the key is to, to go back to some of those settlers or those big runs that they can get from someone like Louise Hunter. She always seems to lift them if she can get them going. Quick, also the key there is Green. Uh, the Gary Green is uh, is doing so much work at the back. But that's it. some of the bigger runners need to really start... Uh, you know, committing defenders and, and making the magic work a bit. Yeah, uh, guard side number 11 for the base side has uh, put a hand up to back up Hunter here in terms of um, forward pack. Um, she's having a red hot go here today. All right, here we go down the left hand side. There's Connors again. And she's taken in a good tackle, almost in the touch, but there, Corporal was a good tackle. Here they go again, and with the ball in two hands with Donovan. She's been impressive too, number four. And dummy half again, it was right. She gets the ball away to a hard running. Cobo, Cobo gets 20 metres out. I think we'll be hearing that name a few times tonight. Cobo, Cobo. <laughs> Absolutely. Juros in and Ray Nagus. This is Women's Rugby League, Mary Carnival 2023. And it, uh, dummy half again, there was right. Gets the ball. They look good here. They must score. They got the numbers. They have plenty of numbers. And Elizabeth Kelly has no problems on the right-hand side. Yeah, just too many numbers out there. On the right-hand side there for the Magic. Um, a few uh, Bayside sister players there caught up and standing still a little bit and doing a bit of ball watching. You're going to replay uh, Ray. Take us through it. Yeah, number 13. Nice little pass out there to Connors. She's been sharp all day. Onto the 24 there. She just goes to the line, holds it up, and nicely pass it there to the fullback. Just too many numbers. Yeah, nicely finished off there by Elizabeth Kelly, and there was plenty of uh, support for her as well. And it's nice to see. Um, and if the games do get a bit of a blowout in them, it's really what I like to see is just those teams that are leading really start to, you know, okay, let's dial it up and try some of our more advanced moves and have a bit of a, you know, some of the more risky moves and, and see if they can come off. Yeah, well, that was, uh, to me, that looked like a, an absolute uh, play that they wanted to try. Uh, Connors went to the line a little bit but didn't hang on to it for too long and then straight out to the back. Um, and then on to the number 24. As we see the kick lined up here, and unfortunately it's not converted. So the score remains 36-6 to six in favour of the SEQ Magic. Here on field two, out here at the blustery conditions out at Redcliffe. <laughs> yep, it certainly is. It's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, it, we had a... I think the wind was reasonably low this morning, but uh, it has picked up. The one thing it isn't is hot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. um, but I'm, I'm expecting the action to be pretty hot over the next day and a half. And then the juniors start next week, so it's uh, it's a whole week and a bit of footy. What a great great time of the year. Yeah, I've got a, um, an under-14 side. And a, uh, under oh, yeah, what are they called, bro? Uh, the 14 side is um, the Aches Brother Boys, uh, sponsored by the Medical Centre here. Oh, nice. Brisbane Aches. Yeah. And, under 16 side is uh, Drew Storm. We're underway. It's a nice kick by the Bayside Sisters. And they've taken it deep, but here they go. They run hard. They always run hard, the Magic. And they beat one or two defenders. And that was a great oh, run there great... by the big number 10, Cohen. That was a great grassing they tackle They continue there. again. And, oh, there she goes. Cobo in and away. Devastating. Over the top. Almost taken. Oh, my goodness. Unlucky. Cobo off to uh, 
Connors. Connors would have been, you know, it's, a, it's an obvious combination, but that would have been brilliant. Yeah. Um, as all halfbacks do, they trail on the inside and follow the, the ball runner. And Connors, she is really a fantastic player, and she's really natural ability as well. Like I said, she followed the ball straight away. As soon as Cobbo made that break, uh, Connors was right there. Yeah, Samantha Cobbo, jersey number 16. Keep an eye on her. Uh, I actually think she had a, a more dominant effort in the game I called yesterday, but she doesn't have to uh, explode as much in this one. But she's been uh, exciting to watch. She's got a lot of pace and skill and good balanced runner, actually. Yeah, the footwork on, on, on uh, Cobbo was really good before the line as well. All right, so that was uh, Green passing in from the back Ooh. of the scrum. And it's good, strong good defense. Strong. I think that's the fullback, Kelly. The initial contact. They spread it now. Let's see if they can make some inroads. Layside sisters. So they're the mob around Cleveland and Stratty. That's where you'll find. Here's Hunter. Both of them. Oh, what and, a great uh, run, Hunter. Hunter. She gets that. So they've got to play off her. Yeah. And she, if she can offload as well, then she's a real, real threat. I think because Hunter's so strong here today, um, you know, she's always got at least three defenders on her. So it's hard to get the ball away, I guess. That's uh, Lahane. Uh, William. Oh, to Williams. Here oh, here's a high shot, but she gets through there. And that was a nice run there. Can't get all the way through. Campbell, number seven. Here's a kick. It's a wobbly one. But it's picked up okay at the back. Here's danger from Elizabeth Kelly. But she's taken in a tackle. Yeah, she fell awkwardly there, Kelly. I hope she's all right. And nice run run here. Oh, big contact there from the 13. Gad, Rhonda Gad. She's heard of there. Oh, dear. And I think I call it Lahane. It's, it's, it's Lahane for her first. A big hit. Oh, nice comes hit. In again. She's flicked the switch here the last couple of minutes. That was Gad. Gad. Yeah. Just devastating. Connors. Oh, Connors, here we go. Oh, she's over the halfway line. Oh, oh flicks it way. out beautifully. Here we go. Is what that... great skill. And that's Jada. She gets the ball away. Oh, there's and the there's Wright again. again. She's doing everything right today is young Lanice Wright. She's in for her third try for the day. Um, yeah, what more can you say? The girls just back up the ball runners all the time here and... Um, they're looking pretty sharp here, the Magic. Exciting to watch. Let's look at the uh, Nirigili replay. And it's Connor's way back here. Ball in two hands, as yours does. And then, what about this pass? Beautiful. Beautiful. We have the number 24 here, just looking around. Does a nice little offload here to right. And right again. This time she was... Johnny on the spot. Her last two tries were out of dummy half. And, yeah, she's playing hooker out there. I know she's wearing the 13, but she looks like she's playing hooker. So, um, yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the jersey numbers and positions. Yeah, <laughs> it's just right. whatever fits. <laughs> Although I might be struggling to find a jersey that fit here. <laughs> right comes in to convert her own try. You're backing her in? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, she started slightly right, and there's plenty of room to work with. And she converts the try. So a total of six points added. 42 points to six. Yeah, 42 to six. Uh, we've got, still got a little bit of time left on the clock here. So mm. I hope Tim Knight realises that his team has actually shown some really good... Um, patches of uh, determination and there's, some, some, there's great stuff to work with and I reckon you know in a couple of years they get a couple extra players, a bit more experience uh, they could really, really be a force to reckon with because I, I know it's 42-6 but there's some things I really like about this Bayside Sisters team. Yeah any other ladies out there watching right now and you're, you know, you're wondering or you didn't have a team before, you know you might be new to the area maybe get in contact with Bayside Sisters for next year Yeah do it, do it, have a go Here's the restart. That's clever. Pressure's on. It came off a foot, but they got it. Well done. Here and we picking go. it up there was Gartside. She plays the ball. Let's see what they can do here. Oh, she's lost it. 
Was it a loose carry? Yeah, it was yeah. a loose carry there, but number 20. Oh, it's, so, it's just disappointing. They were on a roll. They did so well to get the ball from the kickoff. And uh, they ended up losing it. Oh. Yeah, here's a great run here by Witters. Rene Witters. There's a football name for you, Witters. Yeah. Right. Big Dino. Here and we go. Up towards the halfway line. Stepping and weaving there. Reed. Good run. She gets taken from behind. She holds on to it. Yes, she does. They try to get her off. They come to the left. Oh, a dummy half run there. Austin. Austin stepping. Trying to weave her way through. Oh. Determined run. Yeah. She wasn't getting away from the number seven. No. Eight. Connors. Gets the ball away. And there she is there right. She is. Big step underneath the post for number four. Oh, and she's excited about that one. Yeah, so, you know, what else can you say? They're very classy, the Magic side here today. They've done all the simple things. Backed each other up. Set play seemed to be happening for them today as well. As we watch the replay here, Connors gets a nice ball out. Here to Lanise Wright. Steps off her right foot and straight underneath the black dot. <laughs> Whether it's under or over, that's where you want to be. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's a challenge. I'll tell you what, it's a really challenging uh, couple of days for goal kickers. Like, <laughs> you're going to earn your money if you can nail all your kicks here. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I guess here, obviously, the, the Magic have scored a few tries and they're not necessarily too concerned about kicks, but you're absolutely right. And, you know, they've been blessed. They've had a few uh, tries scored near the near the stick, so nothing too, too crazy for them to convert them. They've been pretty easy ones. Right. Steadies herself. Chips it over, no problem. Well, that takes the score to 48 to 60 now. SEQ Magic over the Bayside Sisters. Uh, yeah, I think the Sisters just need to try to keep their enthusiasm up here. I know the scoreboard doesn't necessarily reflect uh, the effort that they've put in here today. Bayside sisters have definitely been putting in an effort. Um, Hunter uh, for the Bayside sisters has had uh, a really strong game in the forward pack there. She's been supported uh, by number 11, uh, which is, uh, sorry, I lost the uh, guard side. She's also done some interesting things as well today. And, uh, oh, we can't forget about Green. She's been super, super oh, busy. Oh, Nagiri Green, yeah. Yeah, super yeah. busy. Green's, Green's been everywhere today. Good point, right? Here's Connors. Oh, loses it, but it goes backwards. She picks it up. Ball turns. Now puts it underneath the one arm, and she's looking for her way through. What a determined run by Connors. She doesn't need the support that comes to the left-hand side. The chase is on. Oh, she's toying with them, and she finally scores the try. Savannah Connors, take a bow. Yeah, Connor's again showing her class. This time off the kickoff. Uh, solid run between two defenders there. And uh, as Drew was saying, uh, just sort of showing off there a little bit. But yeah, she's very classy. Nurigilia replay. Take us through it, Ray. Yeah, just straight through the two defenders there. Big smile on her face. Through another two defenders there, in and away. Fakes <laughs> there for the pass. There's the full back up. And. Uh, yeah, just she's look at that. She's just doing enough yeah, to get there. Just doing enough to get there. And look, well deserved. Um, she's done some nice things here today, and she gets herself a try. And she had plenty of support on the left hand side. She didn't really need it, but you want those support players to be there. They don't want to just like sit back and all right, you do the job. But uh, she was very. She just a balanced runner. The way she just curves and moves away through the opposition. It's really nice to watch. Yeah, she's a very impressive young girl and um, yeah, the old in and away there a couple of times. Probably what impressed me there was just um, you know, she hit the gap pretty hard there, so strong runner, strong ball runner. Yeah, she and she pushed her way through two tacklers and it's something you usually see from a good fullback where you, you burst through the, that initial line of defence but she did a great job as we wait for the conversion. Once again, uh, doing it the, the busy work here is right, and she does it again. No problem. All righty, so 54 uh, points to six here now. 
Um, like I said, the scoreboard doesn't necessarily reflect uh, the effort that the Bayside sisters have put in here today. No, it certainly doesn't. Like I said, like they, they, they've tried their hardest and uh, and they're probably just a couple of years off being, from being a really good team. But it's great to see them here. It's just, just having a go. And I think um, the coach is pretty happy with their attitude. And they just, you know, they could have had a couple of tries. If things had gone their way, uh, they, they have been able to uh, get possession and, uh, and hard-fought possession, but just to lose it a tackle or so later. Yeah, just absolutely starved of possession, unfortunately, the Bayside sisters. Um, but full credit to Magic. Absolutely. And it's Connor. She offloads it this time. <laughs> Give someone else a chance to do the job. And uh, coming in there was Corporal. Cindy Corporal, she'd been taking the kicks, but she's also rushed out to take the tackle. And uh, she gets up. I thought she might have been injured. She's okay. Oh, look, Hunter tried to get the tackle, but she gets away running well. Again, was Riley Reed. Reed's been impressive. The number 14 there for uh, Magic 14. Uh, she's been great. There's Kelly at the back, the number one. Oh, she's got the ball under one hand, on one hand, and she's going right, then left. Will she find a way to the try line? You bet she will. Underneath the black dot, scores another try for the Magic, and they keep motoring away. Yeah, Kelly, another bo- uh, nice ball runner there as well. Strong, very fast once she started putting the foot down. Uh, very balanced player as well. As we just wait for the replay here. Nuri, the replay. Uh, she's had a dummy half this time. Looks up, eyes up football. Straight around a couple of defenders there. And then just starts to accelerate through. Nice right foot step. Another oh, right foot step. She beat two of them that step. Yeah. And just slows it down with a bit of a canter to the try line there. Well done. And there's another one under that same space, under the black dot. You're going to replay. No shame to educate. And uh, we're getting an education here, I can tell you, in uh, fine rugby league from the South East Queensland Magic. So, yeah, as I mentioned, I had a quick chat to try and check the names and stuff like that uh, before them. And, and Leanne Wright uh, deserves great uh, raps as a coach of this uh, Magic team. And uh, the pretty happy with the other right that's on the field but she misses it right in front I, I should I should have backed her out on, on this one <laughs> uh, I was just giving the right name a big rap and uh, and I think uh, we can give her that one, she can miss at least one today yeah for sure so 58 points to 6, that would have brought up the 60 but um, still a couple minutes left so that could happen um, you know, when you when you're heading into the playoffs now, they obviously be there. Uh, what do you what do you what are you looking to do when you when you're sort of winning a game like this, Ray? Oh, you still gotta still gotta go through all the stuff that you normally do. You know, you can't just switch off and um, I guess be disrespectful to the opposition. You know, you still gotta go through Correct. all your stuff. So you know, don't worry about the scoreline. Just keep getting through your sets and and doing what you uh, need to be doing. <laughs> The wind is still strong here, and uh, that's another nice kick uh, there by Corporal. And uh, now they'll have to defend again against this rampant South East Queensland Magic team. Connors. There's Hunter. Working defence and attack. Yeah, she's not done yet. All right. So they get over... Getting close to the halfway line there. That was Renee Witters. Connors, show and go. Keep going right. They've got an opportunity here. Oh, look at that little spin. Can't get through the tackle there. Nice defence there. The desperation defence uh, by the Bayside sisters. Under the pump on the right-hand side here. Ball through the hands. They're a big opportunity. They spread it even further. Out to Austin. Austin comes around. And she scores underneath the post for another try. And that takes us past the 60 barrier. Yeah, so just as I was saying there before, you still got to go through your sets as you would, no matter what the score was. And the girls did that as we watch the uh, replay here. Nice little ball out here to the right. Asana just does the draw and pass out to the winger, which was Austin. 
Angel Austin, great try there. And underneath the black dot there. And that brings up the 60, as you mentioned there before. So, yeah, score getting away a little bit now from the Bayside Sisters. But they have tried hard all day. Uh, you know, Hunt has been toiling all day for her team as Wright converts that one. 64 points to 6 here. On field two, the match between the SEQ Magic and the Bayside Sisters out here at Redcliffe in some terribly windy conditions. And there's the uh, siren in the background. Uh, an emphatic victory. A very skillful and enjoyable victory to watch to the South East Queensland Magic over Bayside Sisters who tried hard all game. But in the end, the Magic too good and deserve the win. Ray Nagers, can you sum up that victory for the Magic? Oh, look, we had some sharp work out from uh, Connors there. The halfback, she was great. Uh, right there, looked like she was playing hooker. She was fantastic. She ended up getting four tries, so good on her. And they were also well supported by the fullback there with Kelly. Uh, she was great as well. But they uh, did the simple stuff through the middle there first, and then they let their speedy backs uh, do the rest, and uh, we ended up with a, a scoreline there of 64 to 6. And a quick word about the Bayside Sisters. I think, uh, you know, you've got to give them some sort of optimistic uh, path for the future. Yeah, as I was saying there before, if you're sitting at home watching the coverage here and you haven't uh, either played before or you haven't uh, got a team that you normally play with and you had thoughts about, you know, participating in the QMC, why not uh, get in contact with the Bayside Sisters and, uh, and uh, yeah, come out here next year and have a run with them. All right, Ray Nagus and Jero Sin signing off from this game. And it's victory to South East Queensland Magic by a formidable 64 points to six. We'll be back in a moment with more action from the Queensland Murray Carnival 2023.